I say on streets. On streets. Say on streets. On and made it. Right. Made it. Whose streets? On streets. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, and you're here with Ian's Podcast. And you know, every day we talking about either testimonies, tips, stories, or just, man, any and everything about the hustle, the grind, and level up, man. It's, I can't even all think about it all off the top of my head. But today, today, I got something here special for y'all. Today, I, I want to talk about... Starting a business, having a mindset of a business, and what's the difference between an LLC and a sole proprietorship? See, now the funny thing about it is a lot of people be like, oh, how do I start a business and how do I do this? How do I do that? No, the real thing that you're asking is how do I be prepared as a business owner? How do I operate and run myself and conduct myself as a business owner and as a business? But the funny thing about it is... <clears throat> That you technically already could become a business or already are a business if you are already performing transactions or or like giving a service or some type of subscription. See, the thing is, that is what a sole proprietorship is. A sole proprietor is basically someone who who absorbs all the liability and risk and represents the company. You follow me? That means so when you're going to go open up a bank account, you're using your social, your private information. And as well as when you go to go take things out as far as your business, credits, all that type of stuff, all that stuff will be based off of your credit history, your credit um, credit score, and also like your social security and what your financial, you know, what your financial stability look like. Now, on the flip side, when you have an LLC, which means limited liability, um, the company is is responsible for any legal obligations and also financial as well. But that also means that you will have to represent. You will be the sole member. So say if you was to start an LLC, if you was to go from sole proprietorship into an LLC and you are still the only owner, you will be the sole member. That is what they call it. The technical term will be a sole member. And by being a sole member, you have access to all of the financial documents and can act as representation of the LLC. So the difference is that once you become an LLC, you will get from the IRS is what we call an EIN. You might see that when you filled out your W-2s before, but that is basically the social security number for your business. Now, since this is fresh and brand new, it's just like a person without any credit history. You're still going to need a co-signer or someone else with some type of credit history. Until you build that up. Now, we can say that for another video because it's, it's numerous ways how you can build up your business credit um, by by getting a secure business credit card or by just getting certain subscriptions or certain services that you already have now in your business name that you know for a fact would do a that situation that you're going to pay those bills. Because let's mention this one more time. Your credit score is starting all over again. So that is another key thing. And uh, and also another big thing is doing business as. When you are sole proprietor, you might have to purchase your own doing business as. Versus when you are LLC, you have your registered LLC name, which you can do business as. 
Now, doing business as name can cost anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars or more, depending on your state. But it's a small little fee that you press to pay to play the game. But when you're doing a business, like I said, when you register your company, you can register like my company, for example, is Ends Media LLC. I do business under Ends Media LLC. So when somebody write a check or anything like that, they can write a check out to Ends Media LLC. When you a sole proprietorship, if somebody was to write a check out to uh, Ends Media um, unless I have proof or legal documentation that I can do business under that name, it's going to be nearly impossible for you to cash that check because you have no legal documentation proving that you are operating under this assumed name. But that's just a little key here, you know, for all y'all hustlers and soon to be hustlers that's out there. Some of y'all that's embarking on this journey of entrepreneurship. And was wondering, should I go to an LLC or can I just still be myself and I don't want to, you know, pay the LLC fees, which varies from state to state, but isn't that much. It's the same price of some Jordans or, you know, a lot cheaper than an iPhone. But we'll save more info on that for another episode. This your boy Baz and you tuned in to N's podcast and I'm out of here.